So that's one thing I wanted to mention to you, Ricky. Um, I'm one week in the business right now. Yeah. I've got about six deals lined up. Um, what? Hey, is Derek there? This is Derek. Hey, man. This is Ricky Ames, Remax and Liberty. How are you doing? <laughs> Don't plan on moving. I, I understand that, man. Sounds like you got somewhere you're comfortable. That's good. Well, uh, you know, hey, look, I, I'd love the opportunity to work with you in the future, be it, you know, five, 10 years down the line. Would it be OK if I stay in touch? You could tell there at the end, he actually respected you a lot. Like in the beginning, he was like, oh, what do you want? All this. And then after he kind of talked to you a second there, like at the very end, like you got him there. Guys, I got the I got a super incredible treat for us today. I got an 18 year old real estate agent one week in the business in Kansas City, Ricky. We got Ricky Jr. on the. That's right. The yeah, today. there's something up, powerful bro? about that name, man. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, Ricky. I really appreciate the opportunity. You know? Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Just calls. What? Uh, who are you calling? Uh, so right now I was just prospecting a, a house kind of in the mid range of our market, in the between the 200s and 300s. Um, you know, nice neighborhood, kind of local, about 10 miles away from me, from my house right now. Dude, we got an 18-year-old agent one week in the business. His name is Ricky Jr. And he's on he's on he's on the show with us today, man. I'm excited Welcome. about this. Please enter invalid pin number. What are you talking Please about? Please enter your pin number. I'm reading I'm it right. To see like where your career goes, man. Like you're 18 years old, man. You have so much time on your hands here. Invalid pin number. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't invalid hit start. That's my bad. Please enter your PIN number. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to mention to you, Ricky. Um, I'm one week in the business right now. Yeah. I've got about six deals lined Please up. Please enter. Um, what? Yes. Yes, dude. My blood starts pumping when. Dude, me too, man. This is the moment. Oh, I get into it and I'm good. But right now I'm like fired up. You know, I'm all antsy. And... <laughs> Hi, Dottie. This is Ricky Ames, Remax First Choice here in Liberty. Give me a call back whenever you get the chance, seeing if there's anything I can do to help you out. Reach me at 816-210-6921. Thanks, man. This I'll tell you, this is pretty fun. I can see why you've been doing this. Dude, it is, it's, it's oh. so intense. Please leave your message for right. Yeah, it is totally intense. Dude, I got I got three listings today, and I'm negotiating two offers. <laughs> That's Just awesome. really excited, man, for the next Hello? one. Hi, is Sarah there? Sarah. Um, I believe you have the wrong number. Oh, I got you. Well, hey, look, my name's Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax and Liberty. How are you doing? Lost her. Okay. So whenever they, whenever it's like the wrong number, or whatever, say gotcha. Um, I'm Ricky. I'm in real estate in the area. Didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Okay, let me write that. Just I you know, know it's I mean? it's simple, but yeah. Yeah, well, it's like instead of trying to say how are you doing, because it's right. like you they don't know you. It's just yeah. like get it out there real quick. Like basically, the message is I'm in real estate. Is there anything I can do for you? Kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Hello. Hey, is Derek there? This is Derek. Hey, man. This is Ricky Ames, Remax and Liberty. How are you doing? I'm good. Good deal. Yeah, I'm enjoying the enjoying the day. It's, it's starting to cool out there, isn't it? Cool on, cool down. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, well, good stuff, man. Look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I noticed a few homes in your neighborhood sold this month. I didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Nope, I'm happy where I'm at. Got gotcha, you, man. Well, let me ask you, uh, if you were to do something down the line, is there an agent in the area you'd work with? I don't plan on moving. I understand that, man. Sounds like you got somewhere you're comfortable. That's good. Well, uh, you know, hey, look, I'd, I'd love the opportunity to work with you in the future, be it, you know, five, 10 years down the line. Would it be okay if I stay in touch? Sure. Good deal, man. Can I get an email? Uh, yeah, it's uh, D. Dot. All right, good deal, man. Well, I'll, I'd love to, the opportunity to stay in contact with you over, over time. So if you ever need anything, give me a shout, okay? All right, good deal. Bye. That's how it's done. <laughs> First call, bro. First call.
Oh That's my great God. For all you new agents, first call. <laughs> How does that feel? It's crazy, man. Uh, I mean, dude, look, you took somebody that, that is not interested at all. You know, mm -hmm. most people would have said, most people have said, okay, thanks, have a good day. Yep. But now you have an opportunity to work with him later. Like there's mm -hmm. an opportunity, he's going to know who you are. Maybe not. Maybe the email doesn't do it for him. But right. like, there's, there, at least there's a chance now yep. that you can build a brand with him. And you can so plug crazy. his email in Facebook, uh, custom audience, run Facebook, Instagram ads to him. He's going to know who you are. <laughs> that you This is saying? awesome, man. Hi, this is Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax and Liberty. How are you doing? Hello? Hello? Is she gone? <laughs> I lost it. Yeah, that's on me, man. I totally botched that. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say wrong? My del it wasn't what I said, it was my yeah, delivery. Was how you said it. Yeah, is how I said it. I, I was like, yeah. Am I really Ricky with Remax and Liberty? <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't blame you. That's fine. You hung up. I deserved it. <laughs> On to the next. Oh, it's the same trust. All right, well, we'll see what we got, oh, shoot, dude. Oh, man. Oof, this is fun. All right. Clear me out. <laughs> hey, Mr. Robinson. Hi, this is Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax here in Liberty. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Enjoying the weather. It's starting to cool down, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Well, hey, look, man, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I saw that a few homes in your market just down the street from you actually sold them last month. Didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Um, you know, we're content for another couple of years. <laughs> You're content for another couple of years. Well, I got you, man. Uh, you know, let me ask you, do you have an agent in the area you'd work with if you were to do something? Yeah, we, we've used our agent. We're pretty happy with their life. Pretty happy. Good deal, man. Who, who are you working with? I might know him. Uh, yeah, not familiar with her, but I, I'm sure you're in great hands, man. There, there's a lot of agents in the area, so it's hard to keep up with them. Well, hey, I'll let, I'll let you go, man. I, I appreciate your time, all right? Thanks. Yep. Bye. Hello? Hey, John. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, this is Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax here in Liberty. How are you doing? Good, man. Well, hey, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I saw that a few homes in your uh, neighborhood actually sold in the last month. I didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Oh, I mean, I don't live in Kansas City. I live in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm probably trying to get a hold of my father. Uh, okay, I think I got a, yeah, 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 for sure, man, for sure. Uh, can, could you get me in contact with your dad? Is that possible? Yeah, sure. You ready? 816. No, no, no. Oh, you know what? Do you have a good number I could maybe uh, text you on? My connection's kind of shoddy right now. Cool, man. I'll, I'll shoot you a text. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. You'll never call every owner in your area. I promise you. Oh man, I was, so I was telling him, say that again. You think you will? You think you'll call every owner in your area? No, 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 no. I was talking to my mom about this last night. Yeah. In the MLS, I put in my address and within 20 miles, man, that put in perspective how many closings are happening. Yeah. It is limitless. So even if, even if a the world's worst recession cuts down the closings by 75%, I'm yeah. golden. There's more business than, than I can handle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Agents are like the most recession proof. It There's is such a big misconception around it that, man. It really is, bro. Huge presence. She's known for that. Um, Hello. 
Hey, is Mrs. Hello. Williams there? This is her. Hi, this is Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax and Liberty. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying the day today. It's kind of starting to cool down, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just a bit. Yeah. Well, hey, look, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I did see that a few homes in your neighborhood sold in the last month. I didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Nope. I'm not planning on selling right now. I <laughs> gotcha. Sounds like you're in a good place. Cool, cool. Well, um, you know, uh, do you have an agent in the area you would work with if you were to do something? <laughs> I know. Yeah, right, right. It's not even not even a consideration of yours. I understand that. Well, you know, my thing is I, I love the opportunity no matter when it is, you know, five, 10 years down the line. So even if uh, you're not ready for a very long time and you're happy where you're at, I'd love the opportunity to stay, the opportunity to stay in touch if that's okay. Oh, sure. That's fine. Good, good deal. Is there maybe a good email I could get you on? Awesome. Well, hey, I, I appreciate your time on the phone. And if you ever need anything, just give me a shout. You know, I'm not here to do a transaction with you. I'm here to build a relationship and, and uh, you know, uh, really serve you. So if you need anything from me, just kind of shout out to me, okay? All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. 25, 25 minutes. You talked to, I think, three or four people, right? Mm -hmm. You got two email addresses. Yep. Boom. Now you'll start building your brand with those people and you just keep doing this, man. It's going to snowball. You're going to snowball into a, you know, you're going to morph into a Ricky Caruth situation. That's um, how it's going to be. Yeah. So you got Twitter, you got Instagram, but not TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you doing? This is Ricky Ames. My name's Ricky. I'm with Remax and Liberty. Um, I, I'll, I'll get real quick with it. Uh, I noticed a few properties in your neighborhood sold in the last month. I was just wondering if there's anything I could do for you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Sounds like you're probably pretty comfortable where you're at then. Oh, wow. How are you liking it? Yes. Good. good. Good deal. Well, you know, I know you've only been there for two years, but when the time comes, I'd love the opportunity to work with you no matter how far down the line it is. Do you have an agent in the area you'd work with? Um, yeah, um, the agent we use to buy our house is all my good friends. I don't have time to come and help stay with us. Oh, good deal. Yeah, it's always nice to have a, a friend or relative in the business. You know, I, I like working with them too. So I, I completely understand that. Well, Again, my name is Ricky Ames. If you ever need anything from me, just give me a holler, but I appreciate your time, okay? Okay, thank you. Yep, bye. You. Yeah, thank you. Oh. Hey, is Jesse there? Yes, who's calling? Yeah, this is Ricky Ames. I'm with Remax here in Liberty. You do? Yeah. What can I have to do for you? So, sorry, say that again? What can I do for you? Oh, uh, well, you know, I saw that a few homes in your area actually sold in the last month. I just didn't know if there's anything I could do for you. Uh, I'm not looking to sell currently and uh, not looking to move. So I believe <laughs> I'm in a pretty good place right now. Good deal, man. Sounds like you're somewhere somewhere you really like. Well, that's great. Um, you know, I like to think long term. Do you have an agent in the area you work with if you were to do something? Uh, I do. I went to school with a... Uh broker here locally so uh you would probably get my business if i was looking oh good deal man yeah it's always always nice to know somebody in the business i completely understand that you know i have those types of relationships myself so uh, i'm with you there um again my name's ricky Ames. so if you ever need anything from me just give me a shout but sounds like you're in good hands so i'll let you go okay all right good luck to you Ricky. yep thank you very much you too man last two in a row told me good luck that's the first time that's funny um shut the dollar down yeah. yeah dude that dude you could tell there at the end he actually respected you a lot like in the beginning he was like oh what do you want and all this and then after he kind of talked to you a second there like at the very end like you got him there at the end like he actually you actually started connecting with you right when you got off the phone because he was like good luck to you i could tell on the tone of his voice yeah he yeah. was like 
he had like mad respect for you there at the end because then he, cool. he realized what you were doing. You know what I'm saying? He realized that you weren't trying to like, like high pressure sell. You're like, oh, okay, you got an agent. Well, that's good. You know? So, you know, I'm Ricky. So if you need something, he's like, oh, he's thinking, dang, that this dude's cool. As hell. You know what I mean? Right. Right. That and then, cool. and let's say, let's say a scenario where it does work out and they don't have someone and they come in and they see that I'm 18 or they see I'm so young. For me, I don't use that as a barrier. I use that as they're going to respect that. Then they're going to yeah. say, well, damn, this kid's doing something. Right, right. Dude, everybody loves a hard worker. I don't yeah. care how old you are or or what the case may be, dude. Like everybody loves like somebody that works hard. It doesn't matter how old you right. are. Can you guys do uh, Ricky a favor and hit that thumbs up button on this video, man? This dude's incredible. I think he literally has single-handedly inspired the entire Zero to Diamond world here, like like shook up the uh the zero to diamond <clears throat> industry here because i mean here you go man you got two emails today i've been on call coaching calls like this with people who didn't get any emails you know what i mean um you're really smooth i think you got a good head on your shoulders i think the only thing is is i think that you got to know that you get, you're gonna have to do this for like 20 years straight like working 15 hours a day you know what i mean and then you'll be where you want to be you know what i'm saying yeah which I'm glad you mentioned that. This is a question I always have when I watch your videos because I feel like you answer it in some ways, but you never quite fully address it. I want to know, and maybe I've, I've just missed out on where you've answered this, but I want to know what you mean when you say I'm working 15 hours a day, because at this point, I don't have business. I don't have enough business to work 15 hours unless I'm making calls for 15 hours. You know what I mean? That's it, dude. Can you explain that. That's it. You're making calls for 15 hours. You're either closing deals or making calls. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever, like in the beginning of your career, that's all you're doing is making calls to try to get to business. Right. You see, if you, when you get where I am, I've made so many calls that now people cold call me to do deals. Like all the listing appointments I had today, when I got all those listings, all those people called me last week and I've, right. and I've, they've been on my email list. They've been, I've talked to them before, whatever, for years you know, and they called and they said, well, I think we're ready to pull the trigger here. You want to meet us Tuesday? Or one of them actually said Monday, but I had to go to Birmingham and do an event. And so yeah, I was I like, I'll that. have to That's do cool. that Tuesday. So like when you get to where you can, you, you, you control your business, you don't let your business control you, you know, like you, you let the business conform to what you have going on. Don't react to every single email as soon as it comes in. You know, like time block and do the Learn. most productive activities. I 35 with a top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody wanna be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't lame.